The fact that we are alive is evidence that there is a never-ending supply of energy coursing through the body's meridian systems. The wonders of the meridian system. It spreads throughout the whole body and more, so the effects of the meridian points are the basis of the treatments of Korean traditional medicine. If your internal organs are in disrepair, this is reflected in the corresponding meridian systems. It is from here that a disease is diagnosed and where treatment begins. We will now unveil the foundational theories of Korean traditional medicine acupuncture treatment, the meridian systems and meridian points. Seventy-three-year-old grandmother Mrs. Lee fell and hurt her back. A regular person would not have been injured, but her old age weakened her body and increased the severity of the injury. In treating the grandmother, the most important thing was to treat her weakened back. Receiving acupuncture in her injured region would probably heal that injury, but thinking to the future that a slight shock would re-injure her back, a more fundamental treatment is necessary. However, what would be the reason for applying acupuncture on her hands and feet, on places where they seemingly have nothing to do with the injured area? Korean traditional medicine interprets an injured back as a product of a weakened kidney, spleen, and liver. Consequently, when treating the back, we would not treat the back directly, but treat the kidney, spleen, and liver that are connected with the back with acupuncture in accordance with the meridian systems. The meridian systems extend all throughout our body. They spread through the muscles, internal organs, bones, and even nails and hair strands. The effects of the meridian systems can also be transmitted quite far. So diseases of the face are treated from the hand and foot, and diseases of the intestines can be treated from the hand and foot as well. This is possible because of the transmitted effects of the meridian systems. Additionally, we are able to move along the pathways of the meridian systems within the body that connect to the internal organs. Each meridian system has a sensitive stimulus and response point called a meridian point, as there are 14 meridian systems and 365 points. The ancient book of Korean traditional medicine, Tongi Pogam, determined the locations for the meridian systems and meridian points. It was a known fact that an energy flow exists from outside the body in, from the head to the feet, and from the chest to the arms. Oriental medicine books dating back thousands of years claim that matters of life and death were based on the meridian systems, and that they were the core of treating all illnesses. Furthermore, they claim that illnesses could not be treated without knowing the meridian systems. And when the meridian systems receive negative energy, it travels through the meridian systems and enters the internal organs and causes illnesses. All illnesses are caused from one illness encountering another. There are three effects when treating illnesses through the meridian systems. The signal travels through the corresponding meridian system as hormones would to the brain. Simultaneously, it stimulates the meridian system and the corresponding organ. Also, it can block the harmful substances from external entrance or regulate all the functions. Doctors all over the world were interested in developing methods to diagnose the meridian systems. But Korea's Meridian System Diagnosis Association 
had just recently developed a Meridian System Diagnosis machine. Whereas past methods of diagnosing the Meridian systems were based on whether the electric current was high or low, this machine can determine the flow in many different patterns of the Meridian system, and illnesses can be detected through how harmonized the flow of the organs and the Meridian systems are. If there is a lot of electric current in the hands, it is considered to be from mental stress. If there is a lot of electric current on the left side of the body, there is a problem with the flow of energy. If there is a lot of electric current on the right side, there is a problem with blood flow. Also, if there is a lot of electric current in the body, there will be symptoms such as a chill throughout the body or constant fatigue. In order to provide treatment using the meridian systems, one must understand the meridian points. There are places along the meridian systems where energy is collected. These places are the meridian points. Meridian points appear where there are high levels of electricity being transmitted. Accurate meridian points are found through these principles, and when acupuncture is applied to these areas, it stimulates the meridian systems and treats the illness of concern. In the thesis regarding acupuncture's effects on fever in the 2002 International Scientific Journal, it states that acupuncture treatments based on meridian system principles are effective. This is frequently referred to in international medical journals as well. The effectiveness of acupuncture for fevers can be determined through a body temperature diagnosis. When acupuncture is applied to areas where the test showed red, the colors begin to change immediately after the acupuncture treatment. After time passes, it is clearly evident that the fever has lowered. The results of research show that acupuncture also affects brain function. When acupuncture is applied, the energy spreads actively throughout the entire body. The stimulation of the acupuncture passes through the corresponding meridian system and ultimately is relayed to the brain. It affects the brain, which regulates the functions of the whole body, and thus makes it possible to treat various types of illnesses. After acupuncture was applied to a wind stroke syndrome patient, there were apparent changes in the brain blood vessels that were once clogged. The basis of the meridian system principles in Korean traditional medicine's treatment method is acupuncture. How is acupuncture applied? 39-year-old Mr. Che. According to the results of an examination of his pulse, the energy of his kidneys has weakened, and this is causing all of his symptoms, fatigue, 
and backaches especially. But how is the acupuncture point determined prior to applying acupuncture? When applying acupuncture, the importance does not only lie on where it must be applied, but also on how deeply the needle must be inserted. The depth of the insertion depends on the area of the body being treated. There is a difference in how deep the needle is inserted because some areas of the body have a lot of muscles, whereas other areas do not. Energy flows within the meridian system as water would throughout a fluvial system. To aid better flow, the needle is twirled to the left and stimulated after acupuncture is applied. On the other hand, the needle is twirled to the right if there is too much energy flow. Then the energy flow returns to normal. Additionally, the principles of acupuncture are also hidden in where the tips of the needle point. Acupuncture was applied to the Tege point to treat Mr. Che's symptoms. The acupuncture stimulation will be relayed through the meridian system, pass through the kidneys and the chin, and all the way to the wrists. Illnesses are caused when the energy is clogged in any of the meridian systems. Acupuncture helps the energy of the meridian systems to flow. Acupuncture is becoming even more diverse today. The modern acupuncture developed for more effective treatment are still based on the principles of the meridian system. The poisonous venom of the bee contains protein, calcium, and other nutrients. It was known in the past that this was an effective treatment for arthritis and neuralgia. Today, the venom is extracted from the bee and inserted into the meridian point. This is now a popular treatment method known as bee venom acupuncture. Applying common acupuncture alone can treat illnesses effectively. But when herbal substances are added to this method, there are better results. Herbal acupuncture is a combination of acupuncture and medicine in one. It is simply the modern day's acupuncture treatment that is like killing two birds with one stone. Usually the needle is twisted with the hand or tapped after acupuncture is applied for a more effective level of stimulation. However, there is a limit to how much one can stimulate a needle by hand. Electroacupuncture can surpass those limits because continued electrical stimulation can increase the treatment effects. Children, however, fear needles that poke and probe. That is why they have developed a new method of acupuncture, laser acupuncture. So in place of the needle, a laser is shot into the meridian point and the meridian system is stimulated. This is a new acupuncture methodology that provides the effects of the needle without the pain. The main cause of why illnesses are formed is from lack of energy flow in the meridian systems. Using pressure to treat this is known as negative pressure therapy. The principle of this method is to poke the skin on the meridian point and draw out blood clots. In this way, body fluids are purified. After poking the points with acupuncture needles, negative pressure therapy is applied to withdraw all the bad blood from the body, 
which therefore purifies the insides of the body. If negative pressure is applied without withdrawing the blood, the poisonous gas in the body can be eliminated, and energy can flow more smoothly because it will expand the blood arteries. Temperature has a lot to do with the well-being of our bodies. If the body is cold, the energy flows slower and may cause illnesses. For this, moxibustion is the best method to treat disorders caused from cold temperatures. When an arrowroot moxibustion is applied on the meridian point, the arrowroot burns and its heat and medicinal effects will be relayed throughout the meridian system. The heat will distribute evenly throughout the body and energy will flow more smoothly. In this way, the whole body can return to excellent condition. The concept that the meridian systems and the meridian points are the basis of Korean traditional medicine is sometimes difficult to accept for non-Koreans. However, acupuncture's treatment effects are widely acknowledged all over the world. The number of non-Koreans taking interest in this is also increasing. Tom, an American who was suffering from lumbago, sought out a Korean traditional medicine clinic on a recommendation from a friend. Lori, an American who teaches English in Korea, prefers Korean traditional medicine's treatment. After coming across Korean traditional medicine, she regularly visits a Korean traditional medicine clinic to treat even minor disorders. What do these two think about Korean traditional medicine treatment methods? With the Korean medicine, it's been really nice because it's not as invasive um, and it tries to treat you as a whole person as opposed to if my knee hurts, you know, going in and doing surgery or giving strong medicine to stop that. It looks more at keeping your whole person in balance. And uh, I think that is much better for long-term health. And that's what I'm really trying to achieve is being healthy through my life, not just getting this to feel better so I can participate in some activity, you know, instead living a healthy lifestyle. And I think that oriental medicine, especially the Korean variety, is great for that. Tom, who hurt his back while exercising, had problems with his hip bone and has complained of back pains ever since. The most serious cramping developed in the left side of his back. The problem was that the energy was not flowing smoothly. Acupuncture is first applied on the back where it is cramped. In this way, acupuncture is usually applied to treat lumbago. It is applied to the lower back and legs. Lori sought out Korean traditional medicine because of a migraine and decided to receive acupuncture treatment. Lori frequently experiences headaches and her eyes become easily bloodshot because the energy in her body is shooting to the top. Acupuncture is applied to the Choksam knee point, which is near the ankle, and the Hapgok point, which is located in the depressed area between the thumb and the forefinger, to treat her migraine. Acupuncture is applied to the Taichung point, located on the instep of the foot, to relieve stress. Migraine symptoms are treated by applying acupuncture to the Neguan point near the wrist. We asked Lori how she felt after her acupuncture treatment. I had a head cold when I came and my eyes felt pressure, my sinuses felt pressure, but now I feel the pressure going down. Korean traditional medicine believes that all the internal organs are interconnected. The very thing that connects them is the meridian system. 
The secret of health is hidden in the midst of this. The illnesses of the organs are reflected in the meridian systems, and it is through the meridian systems that the illnesses of the organs can be healed. Energy flows smoothly within the meridian systems, and when the energy flow is in harmony, one can be healthy. Korean traditional medicine's Meridian Massage is one of the most important health secrets for a long, disease-free life. This helps maintain our own health, and it was even a method used to treat others for quite a long time. Let's utilize the Meridian Massage for the urgent times that occur often in our daily lives. When your body is suddenly feverish, fever can be lowered without relying on fever remedy. First, the back of the neck must be massaged from side to side with the palm of the hands in order to prevent heat from rising to the head. Massage one side of the shoulder to the end of the other shoulder. The lower back region is important enough to be called the second brain by Korean traditional medicine experts. Massaging this area that regulates the autonomic nerves will also prove effective. It is important for the meridian systems corresponding to the urinary bladder to pass through the back and sweep to the bottom from the lower neck to the waist region. A lot of power must be put into the palm of the hand along with a sweeping motion as if all the energy is being pushed towards the bottom. There are needs for immediate treatment for frequently occurring emergency illnesses like indigestion. For those caused from food, the back, where the meridian system corresponding to the stomach passes, must be massaged. When the hands feel bloated, and both the hands and the feet are cold, and when the symptoms are serious to the point of causing headaches, cup your hands and beat the back area where the stomach's meridian system passes through. If indigestion is due to stress, massage the lower back. This will stabilize the mind and relieve indigestion. If a severe cough becomes unbearably painful, then first massage the back of the neck from side to side. Massage the shoulders where the points corresponding to the lungs and kidneys are. It is of course important that painful or cramped areas be loosened. Use the knuckles or the bottoms of the hand to press the areas. A severe cough can be relieved when the chest area is massaged with the palm of the hands. You must use the energy from the palm of your hand and massage in earnest when applying a meridian massage. If the massage is done with a sincere desire for the illness to be healed, the effects of the massage will be increased. <laughs>